In the vast and varied tapestry of the natural world, there are plants that have evolved in the most remarkable ways. We often think of plants as passive beings, quietly soaking up sunlight and drawing water from the soil. But in certain corners of our planet, in boggy wetlands and nutrient-poor soils, a different kind of plant exists. These are the insectivorous or carnivorous plants. They are nature's patient hunters, equipped with extraordinary adaptations to supplement their diet. They don't just grow, they lie in wait, ready to spring a trap on any unsuspecting insect that wanders too close. It is a fascinating story of survival and ingenuity, a testament to life's ability to find a way, even in the most challenging of environments. These special plants have developed some of the most intricate and clever mechanisms seen anywhere in the plant kingdom. From the snapping jaws of the famous Venus flytrap to the deep, slippery wells of the pitcher plant, each one has its own unique method for capturing prey. They are not monsters from a fantasy tale, but real living organisms that have turned the tables on the animal world. They live in places where the soil lacks essential nutrients, like nitrogen, which all plants need to grow strong and healthy. By catching insects, these plants obtain the vital elements they cannot get from the ground, allowing them to thrive where other plants would surely perish. This is a story of adaptation at its most brilliant. Let us take a journey into their world to understand the full arc of their existence. Their life cycle is a captivating drama that unfolds in slow motion from the humblest of beginnings to the complex act of predation. We will explore how a tiny dormant seed can awaken and grow into a sophisticated predator. We will see how it develops its signature traps, each one a masterpiece of natural engineering designed for a specific purpose. This is not just about catching food. It is about ensuring the continuation of their species, a cycle of life, death, and rebirth that plays out on a miniature scale, often hidden from our view, but no less dramatic than the grand spectacles of the Serengeti. Understanding these plants is to understand a fundamental principle of evolution. Life adapts to its surroundings. The insectivorous plants are a perfect illustration of this. They did not become hunters by choice, but by necessity. The specific conditions of their habitats forced them down an evolutionary path that is both strange and wonderful. As we delve into each stage of their life, from a simple seed to a flowering adult, we witness a story of resilience. It is a reminder that the world of plants is full of surprises, and that even the quietest life forms can possess a dynamic and predatory nature, a secret life that is truly extraordinary to behold. Every great hunter begins life in a small, unassuming form. For an insectivorous plant, this journey starts with a seed. These seeds are often tiny, no bigger than a grain of sand, yet they hold the complete blueprint for the complex plant they will become. They can lie dormant for a long time, waiting patiently for the perfect conditions to emerge. They need the right amount of water, warmth, and light to awaken from their slumber. When these conditions are met, a process called germination begins. The hard outer coat of the seed softens and splits, and a tiny root pushes downwards into the damp soil, anchoring the new life, while a delicate shoot reaches upwards, seeking the life-giving sun. As the seedling grows, it is incredibly vulnerable. In these early days, it looks much like any other small green plant. It produces its first few leaves, which are called cotyledons. These initial leaves are essential, as they perform photosynthesis, converting sunlight into the energy the young plant needs to grow bigger and stronger. During this stage, the plant is focused entirely on establishing itself. It develops a small root system to absorb what little nutrients it can from the poor soil, and it unfurls more true leaves to capture as much sunlight as possible. The plant is building its foundation, preparing for the remarkable transformation that is to come when it is mature enough to hunt. The truly magical moment in the young plant's life is the development of its first trap. This is a sign that it is maturing from a simple green plant into a hunter. For a Venus flytrap, this might be a minuscule version of its iconic jaw-like trap, perhaps too small to catch anything but still a perfect replica. For a pitcher plant, a tiny curled leaf will slowly inflate and hollow out, forming its very first pitfall trap. This is a critical transition. The plant is now investing its precious energy not just in making regular leaves for photosynthesis, but also in constructing the specialized tools it will need to supplement its diet. 
It is a slow, deliberate process, a marvel of genetic programming. With its first traps formed, the young plant is ready to begin its life as a carnivore. These initial traps may be small, but they are fully functional. The plant begins to produce the sweet nectar that will lure its first victims. It patiently waits, its traps set, for a small gnat or a curious ant to investigate the promise of an easy meal. The success of these first hunts is crucial. The nutrients gained from its initial prey provide a vital boost of energy, allowing the plant to grow more rapidly and produce even larger, more effective traps. The hunter has been born, and it is now ready to take its place in the ecosystem, a silent and patient predator among the green. The methods these plants use to capture their prey are a masterclass in natural engineering. Each type of insectivorous plant has perfected its own unique style of trap. The Venus flytrap, for instance, employs an active trap. Its leaves are modified into two lobes, hinged at the middle and lined with sensitive trigger hairs. An insect, drawn in by the promise of sweet nectar, must touch two of these hairs in quick succession, or one hair twice. This clever system prevents the trap from closing due to a raindrop or a piece of falling debris. Once triggered, the lobes snap shut in less than a second, imprisoning the unfortunate creature inside a leafy cage. It is a swift and dramatic moment of capture. In contrast, the pitcher plant relies on a more passive approach, a pitfall trap that is both beautiful and deadly. Its leaves are shaped into a deep hollow pitcher, often adorned with vibrant colors and patterns to attract insects. The rim of the pitcher is slippery, and the inner walls are coated with a waxy substance, making it impossible for any insect that falls in to crawl back out. At the bottom of this pitcher is a pool of digestive fluids. An insect, venturing too close to the alluring rim in search of nectar, loses its footing and tumbles down into the liquid below, where it drowns and is slowly digested. It is a simple yet incredibly effective design. Once an insect is caught, the process of digestion begins. This is essentially an external stomach. The plant secretes special enzymes, much like the digestive juices in our own bodies, which break down the soft tissues of the insect's body. In the case of the Venus flytrap, the closed trap forms a sealed container where these enzymes can work efficiently. For the pitcher plant, the insect is submerged in its pool of digestive liquid. Over several days, the plant absorbs the essential nutrients, particularly nitrogen and phosphorus, directly through its leaves. These are the very elements that are missing from the soil, and they are vital for the plant's growth, flowering, and overall health. This act of consumption is what allows these plants to thrive in their harsh environments. It is a slow and deliberate process, far from the violent feeding we might imagine. After the nutrients have been fully absorbed, all that remains is the hard, indigestible exoskeleton of the insect. In a Venus flytrap, the trap will reopen after about a week, and the wind or rain will wash away the remains. In a pitcher plant, the exoskeleton simply accumulate at the bottom of the pitcher. The plant has taken what it needs and the trap is now reset, ready and waiting for its next meal. The cycle of hunting, capturing and digesting is complete, providing the plant with the sustenance it needs to continue its life. After a period of successful growth, fueled by both sunlight and the nutrients from its insect prey, the insectivorous plant enters the next crucial phase of its life reproduction. To create the next generation, it must produce flowers and seeds. This presents a fascinating dilemma. The very same insects that it needs for pollination are also its food. To solve this problem, these plants have evolved a brilliant strategy. They grow their flowers on long stalks that extend high above the deadly traps near the ground. This clever spatial separation ensures that flying pollinators, like bees and flies, can safely visit the flowers without risking being caught and eaten. The flowers of carnivorous plants are often surprisingly beautiful and delicate, a stark contrast to the deadly traps below. They open up to attract pollinators, offering them a reward of nectar and pollen. As a bee or fly moves from one flower to another, it carries pollen with it, fertilizing the plants and allowing them to produce seeds. This is a vital partnership. The plant provides food for the pollinator, and in return, the pollinator helps the plant to reproduce. It is a moment of cooperation in a life that is otherwise defined by predation. 
Once pollination is successful, the flower's petals wither and fall away, and the base begins to swell as the seeds develop inside. When the seeds are matured, the plant must ensure they are spread to new locations where they can grow. The seed pod dries out and eventually bursts open, scattering the tiny seeds to the wind or allowing them to be carried away by rainwater. This dispersal is key to the survival of the species, as it allows the plants to colonize new areas of suitable habitat. Each tiny seed carries the genetic information to grow into a new, fully functional carnivorous plant, complete with its own specialized traps. The cycle of life is ready to begin anew, a testament to the resilience and enduring legacy of these remarkable organisms. In conclusion, insectivorous plants are a profound example of the power of evolution. They have transformed a basic need for nutrients into a sophisticated and active way of life, becoming hunters in the plant kingdom. From a tiny seed, they grow into complex organisms with ingenious traps, each perfectly suited to its environment. They navigate the delicate balance of needing insects for both food and for reproduction, a challenge they have overcome with elegant solutions. These plants are not just a curiosity, they are a vital part of their ecosystems and a powerful reminder that life will always find a way to adapt and thrive, even in the most unlikely of circumstances. They are truly nature's tiny, perfect traps.